Hello in this lesson. I hope you are not exhausted because the lessons are short, on point, and we learn something new each time. So this will be a very, very simple last week, which I want to show you. It's super important within After Effects. Please select everything apart from the background. So you can select the last layer, press Shift, press the first layer, and everything will be selected. Please right click, pre-compose, and let's call it animated title, for example. This is your animated title. The animation goes to about 4 seconds. The great thing here is that you can right click on this pre-composition, you can select time and you can enable time remapping. You can also do this by Ctrl Alt T. Ok, I'll enable time remapping and you see a keyframe has appeared. What is that? This keyframe allows you to shift time. So here, at this point, I would like 4 seconds to happen. That's why I select 4 and a dot. If you press 4 and a dot, it automatically creates 4 seconds. So 4 seconds are playing now in 2 seconds. Well, maybe this is quick, but that's no problem. You can make 4 seconds take 3 seconds. Isn't that great? Ok, this is the initial design, but this composition is too short. It's only like 6 seconds long. So I'll press Ctrl K or go to composition, composition settings and let's make it 30 seconds because maybe you have a 30 seconds video and you need some space when you are editing. Ok, let me take the background and make it longer and also the animation can be as long as you want. This composition will be playing for 10 seconds now and what do I want to achieve? I want the first second the first animation to play for from 0 to 4 seconds in 3 seconds and then, well, let me delete this, I want another keyframe because it's staying on 4 seconds and later on it will go back to 0 seconds. So we are totally managing time, we are reversing time, we are playing with time but the great thing here is you will see what I just created. Now this is the animation you have, it plays in 3 seconds it waits and then it hides itself automatically. And the great thing here is that if you want this to play shorter, boom, come back. Take the last keyframes, boom, come back, boom. And now this entire animation would play and hide in a matter of few seconds. Now this is a ready thing you can use within your videos or within your render. And I'll also close this down by selecting the Alt and my right bracket key. And now I have already animation. I can put this animation and for example, let's say that you have a video, a different video that you are using and you would place the, the video here. Of course, that's not the video. You would place the video here, you would edit the video, you would do some tricks here in After Effects. Then you just take this animation, this title, boom, you want it here. And this would be no problem. Of course, the text appears because that was the text layer, but don't mind that. The, this let's say this is your video uh, you are editing the video you are playing the title here oh maybe it's too quick boom no problem edit it edit the keyframes boom okay uh, i'll make this longer your video is playing something is happening the title comes in and no one said that the title has to be like that it can be a small title in the in the corner like this It can be used in your videos, for example, you say, hey, please like my video or watch my video or I have other content, bro, let's check it out. It can be clickable. It all depends on what you do. This is how you can create those great minimal title openers, those animations. I hope I did explain everything truly and step by step, if you need any help, please let me know. I will reply to you and help if you have really any troubles with it. I would recommend you to rewatch the lessons, maybe watch them slower or faster if they are too slow or too fast for you. Then you can do each thing step by step, one by one, and you can follow to create such a ready project. Thank you so much for listening and I do hope that you did like this and you would like to hear more of such tutorials. I have plenty of them, so please be sure to check them out as well.